to problem 14 of the MIT Integration V qualifying exams 2012, which is the definite integral from x equals to 0 to x equals to half of x times the x sine of x all over uh, square root of 1 minus x squared. Um, so this looks intimidating, but it's a pretty simple problem. Let's see how we can solve it. So as we said, um, our problem is the definite integral from x equals 0 to a half of x arc sine of x over square root of 1 minus x squared. Um, my When I see this kind of um, denominator, what I do is I would just like to substitute for x with sine theta, such that dx d theta is equals to cos theta, and that means that dx can be substituted for with cos theta d theta. Now, um, looking at the limits, when x equals to 0, uh, arc sine of x would be 0. When x equals to half, arc sine of x would be pi over 6. So that means that in the x domain, if we have an integral from x equals to 0 to a half, of x arc sine x or the square root of 1 minus x squared. This is the same as the integral in the theta domain from 0 to pi over 6 of using this sine theta in bracket arc sine of sine theta cosine theta theta in place of this and under the square root sine we have 1 minus sine squared theta. Now this 1 minus sine squared theta is the same as cos squared theta square root which is cosine theta so this and that would cancel and now we are left with the integral from x equals to 0 to pi over 6 of sine theta sine of arc sine of sine of theta is is theta right um, so we can use integration by parts and how we could express that first is if we have theta coming from this and sine theta is the same as the derivative of negative of cosine theta and we know with integration by parts if you have a product of a function u and derivative of v when you integrate that you get the product of u and v subtracting the integral of the product of v and the derivative of of you. So that, my friend, is how you would solve um, your problem. So here u would be our theta and v based on this would be our cosine theta. So we have initially the product of theta and cosine theta with that and then we have minus minus, so it becomes plus the derivative of u, or the derivative of theta, uh, which is 1 times v, which is cosine theta. Right. And then we have our limits as 0 to power over 6. Okay. Um, so we have zero to pi over six plus the integral of cosine theta from zero to pi over six 
uh, means that we do have negative pi over 6 cosine pi over 6 minus minus which becomes plus 0 because 0 times cosine of 0 is 0, zero times 1 so it's 0 plus integrating cosine theta we get sine theta okay 0 pi over 6 so cosine of pi over 6 in other words cosine of 30 degrees is the same as uh, negative I mean, it means uh, this is root 3 over 2, so we have over 2 times pi over 6 plus, and here we have sine pi over 6 minus sine of 0. This goes to 0, and so we have sine of pi over 6 is a half, so we have a half minus root 3 pi over 12. So in other words, um, the initial integral of 0 to half of x times x sine of x over square root of 1 minus x squared is equals to half minus root 3 pi over 12. And that is our answer. Okay.